it's Tanya here. Thanks for watching. I talked about the shimmer waves from the body shop. They actually have three colors. They have a rose, a coral, and a bronze. And I wanted to talk about these products a little bit because there's lots of products like this on the market. And I just wanted to kind of do a comparison video for you guys. So let's start with the rose one because I do actually have quite a few that are comparable to this one. So the Body Shop one has five strips of color. They're all shimmery and they range from a really bright white all the way down to kind of a dusky rose pink. As soon as I saw this, I immediately thought of this. Dior Shimmer Powder in number 001 Diamond. I don't know if you guys can see, but the colors are even quite similar. I really love this. I can only really show you guys them all swirled together because it's really hard to get a separate swatch of all of those ones and then the same with these ones. I'm just going to swirl them all together. You guys can see they're not identical. The Body Shop one almost comes off a little more coral and the Dior one is like a little more of a blue toned pink but they're quite similar. I would say if you have one of these you most definitely don't need both. They're similar enough that you could probably get the same effect. You can use these beautifully as an eyeshadow as a blush or as an all around face product. They are very shimmery. As you can see, they've added quite a bit of shimmer to my cheek already. They are very, very, very shimmery, much like the Dior ones, but they're beautifully pigmented. You can use these all as separate colors. Of course, it's not as easy to get them to all be separate. And honestly, when you swatch them all out, with the exception of the white one, they all look very similar. So I would recommend using this more as like an overall cheek product, unless you wanna use that white as an inner corner highlight, that may work. As far as staying powder power goes, I've been wearing the coral one for a couple days now, just trying it out. I would say these give you about six to eight hours of that shimmery glow, and then it does start to fade, but they do the color itself, not the shimmer, but the actual color lasts a good 10 hours before I've noticed a fade. I didn't get that long of a wear out of my Dior ones. I found that the shimmer faded a lot sooner, so that's one thing to consider. The other palette I have that's a lot like this is the, is the Physicians Formula Custom Blush and Highlighter Shimmer Strips in Rosy Glow. This one is very close to it too, but the purple or the, the deeper colors on the, on the Physicians Formula are way deeper. This is way more wearable than this one. Now Bobbi Brown also makes one of these in rose, and I would say that one is quite similar. I've kind of compared the colors online. And that one is probably the most like this one that I've seen. And an honorable mention, just kind of as a shout out, because I think it, the colors are quite similar, is the Nude Wear from Positions Formula. This was limited edition. These definitely are brighter tones, but they don't come off as bright in the swatch. And this one is a little bit more powdery. So if I had to choose between the two, I would probably take the Body Shop still. So overall, I'm really enjoying the rose one. Now, they also have a coral one which is the one I've been wearing all week because I've been loving corals right now. This is gorgeous. I love the colors of this. This reminds me a lot of the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick in Nectar, which I don't own. I was actually going to order and then didn't because, I don't know, there's so much hype around those Bobbi Brown products that I think that no matter what it is, I'm gonna be disappointed in it. So I just haven't really ordered it. The only thing I could find in my collection that was even somewhat close to this was the Quo Miami Rush kind of wave. And it's not all that close because it has a lot more brown tones, but if you stay up near the top, you get more of just a coral, but nothing beats this coral for me. I just think it's so beautiful. Look at that. It's so shimmery and so pretty. It's what I've been wearing. When I've seen swatches of Nectar, it is almost bang on for nectar, but it's my favorite. This is just gorgeous. It would look flattering on almost all skin tones. If you, like I said, if you have a bobby shop near you, go and swatch out these shimmer waves. They're really pretty. This one's also the most wearable as far as being able to convert it to eyeshadows because some of these gorgeous peachy shimmery shades would be really pretty on the eyes. Now they also have a bronze one and I did swatch it. It was most comparable to the Dior powder in Amber Diamond. I thought this one would be comparable to the coral, but it's not, it's just too bronze toned. But if you get to a body shop, swatch the bronze one. It also kind of reminds me of the Physicians Formula Shimmer Strips, these ones, the Vegas Strip and Riviera Strip. 
but it's just got a nicer texture to it than these ones do. So if you haven't tried anything from the body shop, these would definitely be a product I recommend trying. Plus they're a fraction of the cost of the Bobbi Brown ones. I think these are $22 each. Go and check those out. That is my review on the Body Shop Shimmer Waves. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Hey, we play it like